we often overload our septic shock patients with IV fluids. The classic trial looks at the fluid we provide patients in the ICU after resuscitation in the emergency department. This is not medical advice. Read the article for yourself. Almost 1,600 patients were enrolled into either the restrictive group or the standard group. Before arriving to the ICU, these patients received about three liters of fluid. The patients in the restrictive group needed to meet certain criteria to get fluids. This included a certain lactate level, a certain mean arterial pressure, a muscle modeling score and a urine output. I really wish they would have used dynamic parameters instead. At day 90, there was no difference in depth. What really caught my eye though is that 42% of patients in each group still died despite getting very good care. Necrotic digits and gut ischemia was not an issue in either group, nor was there a problem with renal function in either group. It really didn't make a difference. I do have to say that length of stay was not looked at. I guess we're going to have to look elsewhere to improve sepsis outcomes.